All right, so here's the specimen that I posted on Mother Load Gold group today on Facebook and have it as a contest. And it's really hard to tell the size of this thing and people are guessing, which is kind of fun. That's what I wanted, but I wanted to do a picture of this thing before I start etching it. I'm going to prepare this specimen in a couple of different ways. There's pyrite mixed in with the gold and it really is a cool piece. I'm going to use hydrofluoric acid on it as well to get rid of the quartz, but let's give you a good idea of how big this thing is now. A lot of the guesses are right around 200 grams. But now that you see me picking it up with my hand, you'll see that it's a massive piece. In fact, it's quite hard to hold on to with one hand. It's uh, just over 16 pounds. And the gold goes all the way through both sides. You'll see the pyrite on top. And I've used an ohm meter on it. And the gold is continuous from one side to the other. And all the way throughout it. You'll see here on top that the gold also comes through the, the rock on top. So this is going to be just an amazing specimen to watch the transformation of it. I'm going to, of course, expose as much gold as I can and keep it as big as I can. But yeah, just look at in the size of my hand. It's just really hard to fathom until you see this thing. I will have it at my gold shows. This year, the GPAA gold shows, I'm going to have it in Phoenix, San Francisco, or Vallejo, Portland. And that is, of course, if it doesn't sell between now and then. So I hope you have a an enjoyable little look at this thing before and after. I'm going to do a blog page on it, of course, with all the processes going the whole way. Talk soon.